All right, spawning in in the top left-hand corner, representing Risen. It's going to be our Diamond Zerg in green, Mumbles. And in the bottom right corner, the pink Protoss with all the power. It is Meek. All right, so Nightshade, what do you think? I'm thinking this is a Zerg favorite map. It's so It's just so open. Yeah, very open, but there's a lot of ramps, a lot of chokes. Uh, sentries, kind of strong in general. But you're right that it's very easy to flank and get around and surround your opponent. This is a very early probe. Yeah, oh, pool first out of Mumbles. Oh, I'm loving this game already. <laughs> is it going to be a cannon rush? Oh, no, that's a gateway. Could just be for a block, but that still seems pretty early. Now he's going down. Also, I noticed that Mumbles is diamond now. I think the last time I played him, he was platinum. So, congrats getting on up there. Yeah, <laughs> he just goes straight to, to the third. I love it. That's a that's a classic diamond move. I do the same. Oh, Forge started. This could get very weird. Could be a standard opener. Like, Forge, Forge isn't that weird. But... I, I I would be putting down stuff there. Yeah, because if you can contain the Zerg up on the one main base, of course you would be making drones and or units out of the third location base. Yep. But once your mineral line, mineral line is saturated, you can't make drones and send them over to your other base. And that'll really put you behind. Nexus That's thrown down for me. And a cannon at home. Meek afraid of the weirdness coming out of Mumbles here. Now Mumbles opened the pool first, but he didn't have his gas up, and he wasn't able to get speed in time, so his speed is actually really late. And he's right. kind of massing up a couple of lings. I don't know if these lings really are going to represent anything. Like I, Those may be better spent in drones right now. Yeah, 25 gas about, so he could throw down a Bane Nest and just go for like a big Ling Bane bust. Yeah. Because he's kind of hiding the Lings. He knows that there's probes there, he knows the Zealot is coming. And now the Lings are revealed, all of them. He doesn't split off a couple of them to surround and kill the Zealot. But more yeah, drones come out. The front. Already, I wouldn't be surprised to see a shield battery or something follow it. But a couple of units out, and this is um, going to be kind of hard to stop. Actually, right. you now thinking about it, this is kind of this is kind of difficult. He doesn't really have well, any units at home. He's got the one adept, but with a shield battery and a full wall, it's um, like you can kind of throw lings at it. You can kind of throw lings at it all day. Without a Roach Warren follow-up, which isn't there, then it's it's this is pretty much impossible to break. Right, those links we're not going to break through with that cannon, just hitting them one at a time. But we also have this Stargate that's finishing up for Meek right now. Void Ray is going to be Ray. Meek's choice. Not the best against Lings, but they sure don't shoot up. Two Adepts being warped in on the outside of the wall to go apply pressure, I like that. I think this Void Ray was made anticipating like a Ravager kind of all yeah. in play. I think that was really the thought there, which would have been a, a good response. But there is no Roach Warren on the other side of the map. It looks like he's just going to macro out of this. So Right. But no other tech at all either, which is weird because he has 300 gas now. No Roach Warren for Ravager, no Lair. Another gas finishing. These Adepts are going to get some drone seven, kills though. Four. That's five. <laughs> Yeah, clear out that whole base. Seven drones dead. That's kind of a funny shade. From. Is he gonna surround these? Oh, is he gonna finish the shade? No. Wisely cancels. He's got, he's got the awareness. Yeah. Seven drones went down in total. That's pretty brutal, because he has like almost no saturation outside of his main now. I actually think at this point, with all this gas stacked up, he has to throw down a Rochewarn right now and try to do something with Ravagers. Like, that's really his only shot here. Yeah, he's layers so have to economy. 
Exactly. And now the Void Ray is revealed. So if he was planning on going Mutas or Spire in general, he's probably very he's afraid of it, yeah. the threat of Phoenix. Yeah, these queens Couple will be enough to scare off the Void Ray. Yeah. And Meek makes a Stasis Ward at home. He's got two Oracles. Third one on the way. Oh yeah, he's got two Stargates. Wow. Is this going to be Mass Oracle? Another two? And the Spire goes up anyways. Yeah. Well, see, now that he's going Mass Oracle, Mass Muta is actually good against that. And, or you could just go Corruptor and Corruptors. counter everything, basically. Although Oracles are fast as hell. It is frustrating trying to oh, yeah. catch Oracles with Corruptors. <laughs> Second Forge coming up. Looking like upgrade time. And another Stargate. Stargate number three. And there's the Fleet Beacon. Fleet Beacon. Oh boy, here we go. Now that's kind of funny that he made a second Forge, because he hasn't started upgrading anything with his first Forge yet. And you think if you're going Mass Air, the only upgrade you want is Shields anyway, right? Yeah, for sure. Here we go, Oracle's going across the map. Undetected. Yeah, the, and there's no Spore there. These have the ability to do a lot of damage. And here we go, are they just going to kill the Queen? Zap! The queen, <laughs> the drones. And the Lings run in, please take me! not going to do too much. That's 13, 14, that whole base is going to be wiped out. Yep, Back he's just focusing drones. down the hatch now. <laughs> oh man. Are they going to run out of energy? Miss awareness. The two adepts are caught out. I think they're going to have just enough energy to kill this. Yep, yep. and they back. see the Muta too. So they can just recall out of there, fly home, or... Oh, please, he's, got his, he's, got his third, he's got his own third on his way up now too. This is a really, uh, really Protoss-favored situation yeah. for sure. Yeah, Meek's been playing this really well, i got to say. Wow, he stopped chasing the Oracles. The Mutas are just letting him go. <laughs> These Oracles can go right back in. Oh yeah, looks like that's what he's doing. Yep. A lot of cannons going up at this third though. These? Wow, finish right in time. Oh, but the Mutas show up. Eh. I think he's got enough for this. Oh, but the single Phoenix. That's GG. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> three, three Void Rays. I think that's GG. I think you're right. I was only memeing a little bit, because whenever I have a huge Muta flock and I see one Phoenix, I just know, oh, <laughs> all of this tech is now useless. Oh, he's killing the forge. Okay, so that's why he made a second one. So that he could kill the wall forge. Gotcha. But still no shields going up anymore. Oh, and these oracles are getting even more drone kills at the third, where there is no base. He could just put these drones back on his natural with the fully saturated. That's, that's 32 drones killed so far this game for zero <laughs> probes. 35, 36. Just keep them coming. Oh, he recalls two oracles out. He recalls the ones that are out of energy. Look at how many mutas there are. That's a big ball of mutas, but I mean, look at this Stargate production. There's a carrier on the way, a bunch of void rays, five Phoenix. Yeah, he got he out a good amount of mutas. For but... staving stuff off, but you can only stave off for so long when you're down by like 25 drones. Yep, and as those Phoenix come up, they're going to become less and less useful. And Mumbles is on two bases now. Well, actually, he's on one base saturation, really, because his drone yeah. count is so poor at this point. And as I say that, we see Meek. Back. Yeah, Meek transfer Maynard's a whole bunch of probes over to the third to fully saturate it. Yeah, pulls all the mutas back with those oracles. Just knocking down a couple more pro or a couple more drones. He's happy to take the trades. Yeah, Mumbles has lost almost twice as much compared to Meek. It's probably mostly drones, too. Yeah, 46 total drones killed this game. Jeez. And then fighting Unreal Phoenix on batteries. cannons with batteries? Yeah. 
But hey, he got his first probe. He actually got two. <laughs> yeah. And Meek's starting to smell the blood. He's going to run across with the Phoenix and try to snipe the rest of those mutas. Oh, and Mumble's run on a Hydra Den. I do not like that, I gotta say. Yeah, you can't afford it right now, man. And Hydras are just kind of garbage against Protoss Air in general. Yeah. Pretty much everything know, in the air will counter. Unless you got a ton. Like, that's kind of the, like, unless you can hit some timing with a lot, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. But, I mean, every Protoss Air unit is good against yeah, Hydras. Except good. for maybe Void Rays. But there's even a point where you can get so many Void Rays that they stack up and do so much damage that you can kill yep. a large amount of Hydras. Ten more drones dead. Bringing us up to 56. Yeah, poor Mumbles. He now has a third of the workers that Meek has. Eight thousand minerals has... and three thousand gas worth of lost units. And these hydras are probably just gonna get picked up and killed. Yeah, there's the GG. And there's the GG. Mumbles did have good creep spread, gotta say. Yeah, for sure. It was out there. Uh, I'm gonna pass the lead back to you. Oh, I'm not gonna party. Okay, good. Okay. So game one goes to Meek. GG. A solid attempt from Mumbles, but Meek just has too much control that game. Yeah. First drone was a little weird. Um, I'm not too sure about the forge, like seeing that early pool, I, the, the forge is good, but the second gate is also really good because of the prevalence of the ravagers, but he also knew to get out the void ray, which is a pretty hard stop for that. So yeah, this definitely feels like a strong matchup for him. Right. It's also hard to tell because he could have been reacting to the weirdness he was seeing come out of a oh, boy mumbles. So anyway, who do we got playing on this map? Well, in the top right hand corner, currently one and zero, we got our pink Protoss. Representing extra one, Meek. And in the bottom left, playing for Team Risen, it is GT Kong. So every dream, I feel like this is a pretty balanced map. It's um, yeah. it's pretty open on the in the middle of the map, but there's also like some pretty cheeky platforms, and that third base is a little bit far away. Um, so that like that that'll favor the Protoss a little bit. Yeah, I've never heard anybody complain about this map ever. Yeah, it's hard to. It's about as standard as they come, really. It's kind of just Triton Tooth. Mm-hmm. And that's about how both players seem to be opening here. Very standard. Yep. No weirdness, no forgot drones. Forgotten drones. Probe is going to mess up GT Kung's mining a little bit, though. Get those drones off the close patch. That's always obnoxious. Absolutely. Second gas comes down for Meek. Meek had four probes in the geyser, but he finds and fixes that quickly. Comes the second gas. And that tech pylon is finishing up. I think it's going to be a Stargate back there? or That location is usually for a Twilight, I feel. Yeah, I think it's it's got to be one of the two, right? Nobody puts a robot back there, that's for sure. That gas Twilight. Was, yeah, there's the Twilight, you called it. Probably would have seen that second gas just a touch earlier. Yeah, and no third going up for GT Kung yet. Which is actually kind of okay. I think that in this situation, this is kind of what you want. You just want to drone up your natural faster, take the gas, get a quick layer, get a roach horn up. But of course, he has no idea this is coming. 
Oh, he sees the second gateway going up now. Twilight finishes, and it's going to be a robo thrown down. I'm hoping we see glaives, but you can't. Dis you can never discount. You can never discount charge. Yeah, there it is. There it is, charge. And GT Kong's going Banes. I don't know about you, but I've never had luck doing this. I think going Banes against Zealots, you eventually run out of Banes. Yeah, it's, there's not really a lot of great responses on those t on tier one to on tier on tier one to the charge lots. Honestly, I mean maybe like armorlings or something like that, but it's tough to say. Yeah. Like even if you go up to Ravagers or Roaches, then unless you have like pretty good control, then you're kind of going to get chunked down by those Zealots. Yeah, oh, he's making Banes. Coming down. Yeah, and he's just revealing all of these Lings. He's attacking the front wall. I was about to criticize his shield battery, saying, why is he making a shield battery if he's going to be aggressive himself? In come the Banes. Will they connect? Yeah, Cybercore yes, goes down, do. Zealot goes down, the Lings get in. Trying to kill a probe, but that battery is just doing work. They need to get away from that shield battery a little bit. Yeah, that zealot's not attacking though. It's gonna go down. This adept is in a really good spot. I don't know if they can get out of there, but it's got five kills already. This zealot also dead because the battery's out. More Another links showing up across the map. Yeah, as a third base is halfway done. Four GT Kung. Lings are engaging the Zealots. I think they're going to be cleaned up here. Ah, there's more Ling Bane coming. There's nothing in the wall. Oh, but now the wall's jammed up. Seize the Banes. Charge is also oh. revealed now. But look at all those Zealots. Yeah. They're going to get good connects from the Bane Lings, though. Yeah, it's kind of like Charge works against you in this situation, doesn't it? Ooh, three Banes into one Zealot. And just more lings going across the map, but he's gonna get pushed out. Straight he out can't of just morph Banes. Trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he needs to hold off at this point. I don't know. Keep the pressure on with what he's got, and then switch back to drones. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's doing. He's got the roach warrant coming up as well. I think that's a probably a smart call. He needs to think about transitioning for sure. Yep. More zealots coming in, but you know. All of this aggression is really keeping Meek on his side of the map. This war prism just finished and all these zealots are just sitting there. Oh, <laughs> now he's running away. That's actually a good Baneling connection. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he's just going to backstab and try to pull these back, but will Meek respond? I don't know. I don't, think nah, the base just... works for, I don't think the base trade works out for him. Yeah, Meek's just charging across the map. These lings are now officially repelled, I think. He's got some yeah. more units on the way, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Oh, Queen gets pinned before it goes up the ramp. This Queen's going to get ravaged as well. All three, all three of these Queens are going to die. I think that Force foot goes down. I think so, more beans being made. Those drones mostly all die. This natural is going to go down. He can just go up and kill the third. Oh, he's going into the main. Yeah, man. He smells blood. He sees what's up there. And there's, GG. And there's the GG. Meek is bringing it today. Wow. He really is. Very well played. Meek looking like a bit of a PVZ assassin. Yeah. Then All right, so spawning in in the bottom left-hand corner, it's our uh, reigning defender playing for extra one, the pink Protoss Meek. Bottom right. Oh, bottom right, no. <laughs> and in the top left, the new coming challenger. It is Kugel. 
Who's the teal Protoss? Forge coming down for Meek as two probes head across the map. So Kuku could have noticed that Meek was kind of trying to run away and hide that probe, and now he sees the second one. If he's paying attention, he should know something's up. I oh, and the probe turns around. Yeah. Is his Protoss sensing tingling? Ooh. Two pylons started in the main of Kugel. And a third to wall him in. Oh, he doesn't have enough room to make a cannon in there. He's going to have to cancel one and make it on the outside, but yeah. that shouldn't be a problem, right? Just cancel the left one. Yeah, there it is. Cannon goes down. Oh, probe taking some damage. A gateway. Is he going to lose the probe? He loses the first probe. Probe dies. Second probe looking to get surrounded. Yeah, probe's coming off the line for Kugel. One pylon falls. Ooh, that surface area is not good, though. We've got about three or four probes that aren't attacking there. And a third or on, second pylon. It looks like now. it's about to finish. Yeah, and he just Pylon's got through the shield. Go down. Oh, yeah, and now he can surround it. Go He's going to go for the pylon, pylon, though. And the probe goes down. I think this is successfully held, right? Um, I don't know, because this stuff's going to finish now. I think it's gonna get instantly depowered, though, right? Uh, oh, you know, I thought that pylon was gonna reach the cannon, and that was gonna get all the probes off of it. This one, though, you know, yeah. Please. See, okay, <laughs> so both cannons are up. Yeah, I can't believe this cannon can hit the gateway from there. That seems extra far, doesn't it? More probes pulled off the line. <laughs> the cannon gets tapped. Oh, that's GG. Oh, that GG. one cannon was in such Dirty. a good spot. Right in the middle. All right, now we know Meek is capable of <laughs> switching it up here and there. Wow. I love it. Got to have at least one of those every series. Absolutely. That's that's my rule. Yeah, Meek is just crushing it. Meek is going to be good. Next map's going to be Eternal Empire. Another pretty even map, although I actually downvote this. I, I ban this. I'm going to be honest. I think this is a Terran favored map. Hmm, interesting. All of the, just the positioning of these cliffs, especially right near the third. Yeah, really, that's true. It really makes me favor Terran on this map. Um, I do see a lot of tank play on this map, now that you mention it. I also feel like the dead airspace is pretty nice for drops. Like there's a fair bit of drop of drop potential both in between the third and the main, and then down uh, below the third, there's that huge gap for like liberators and stuff. Um, oh, look at this probe! That's going for a proxy, right? Absolutely. There's no way that's going to scout. So tell me, Master Wanton, who do we got in the bottom left? In the bottom left, we've got, representing Risen, the Green Terran Masters, Kilimanjaro. And in the top right, the reigning champ, the pretty and pink Protoss, it is Meek. So the pylon does oh, go yeah. down. And... Think that's a Stargate? Well, I was going to say the same thing, except... There's no cybercore gateway. Right. Okay. I see he's going out to scout and a second gateway. Oh man. Adepts. But the wall, like the, adepts aren't that great in Terran because of the wall, right? Like you can't really do the whole deking back and forth thing you can do with like Zerd. Maybe. Uh, Hey, he takes a second guess. Blank. Yeah, I was going to say it could just be stalkers, because I don't think you're going to go zealots ever. No. Second CC on the high ground. The uh, cyber core is about to finish. But that SCV is walking around, and he should know something is up now. Absolutely. 
No second pylon, no nexus. Bells are going off in Kilimanjaro's head right now. and Yeah, Reaper scouting around, looking for the proxy. Not gonna find it over there, brother. Question is, what does he expect? Oh, he throws oh, out a, a bunker. bunker! Okay, cancel. I love it. Cheeky. So here comes Stalkers. That's the play. Command Center, Factory, and Bunker. Going up for Kilimanjaro. I think odds are pretty good this gets shut down. If the bunker is get like the bunker is gonna be almost finished, the factory is gonna be almost done, and he can throw out either like a cyclone or a tank. Yeah, and he um Meek has no air, so he can't like go around the side and pick off this wall or anything really. Oh, are these marines gonna fall though? One dies. That SCV is gonna get popped. Oh, this SCV comes back to nobly sacrifice. Oh, don't walk that way, Marine. Oh, he gets in. Oh, okay. he gets in. <laughs> oh, I thought he was dead. Uh, Reaper. The depot is out of range. Dies. Yeah. Here comes the adept. Two more stalkers on the way. Command this center is finishes. Scary, but the cyclone right, is on the way. This depot's gonna go down, he can depot just walk in down. and completely avoid the bunker. And he throws down a starport. Gotta pull those SCVs. Ooh, yeah, this cyclone's only halfway done, almost 75%. And a robo going up for Meek behind and this. He pulls everything. Even the meal. The cyclone, where's the cyclone? You need to get it there over there. There it is. Yep. Oh, don't go in too deep. Pull it back. Oh no, that's oh, bad no, pathing. No, it's gonna die. Oh, oh no. One health. Rip. Anything else being produced? No. He has no money. Now he can afford a marine. Oof. Oh, the other um, bunker got salvaged. He starts up another cyclone. But that thing's got a long build time. This oh, yeah. uh, depot's gonna go down. Is that gonna supply block him? Close to it. Floats the factory over. Or the barracks, I mean. Oh, the Protoss army is so close to that factory. Okay, now he's pushing it away. It's too many stalkers, though. I don't. I don't think. I don't think he's got the unit count to be able to hold this. Yeah, oh, that was an unfortunate lock-on, too. He locked on to a stalker that died right away to SCVs. Yeah. These SCVs He's need to be just hugging the cyclone, the cyclone right? Yeah, that's <laughs> GG. That's yep. game. Wow. That's a dirty, dirty all-in, man. Those yeah. boxy stalkers. But really, the biggest problem there was the bunker placement, right? Yeah, if that bunker, bunker was placed was to the left of the rack. Bunker... If that bunker was just put behind the racks, yeah, then I think that was held. Yeah, it just didn't protect the left depot at all. I mean, it would have protected it from zealots, but yeah. Wow, four zero right now. Another pretty fair, balanced map. Don't hear people complain about it ever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know anyone who doesn't like simulacrum, to be honest. <gasps> Oh, he's either having the same problem that I have, or it's going to be a 12 pool. But uh, who am I talking about? Well, I think you might be talking and talking about our top left RNG pro player, Scrubbles, playing the yellow Zerg. And then the bottom right, representing Team Extra One, it is the pink Protoss Meek. Uh, that's a proxy pylon. Whoa. Scrubbles yep. knows how to beat a cheeser. These are some More of my favorite cheese. kinds of games. Cheese into cheese. <laughs> cheese in your cheese. I call it a croc madame. <laughs> Three gates. Wow, yep. And six slings starting up. 
followed by the GLHF, and there's the fourth. This is uh, yeah. This is about as classic Protoss cheese as it gets. Yeah. Now this is gonna be funny because these links are gonna show up first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Links are out there running, and they could just completely kill all these probes. Yeah. There's and then this could there. get this could get very weird in base trading. Four gateways coming up. And the hatch going down. First rebels. No gas at all, by the way. So it's going to be all zealots. Yeah. yeah, three zealots. Not surprising. Right, but before they even pop, the ling is going to show up in the main. And Meek has no idea. He hasn't seen this. He hasn't, yeah, he hasn't gone anything. into the natural. He's completely but blind. now he sees the lings. Oh, boy. He's not even pulling the probes yet. Oh, uh, there we go. So all these probes Oh, die, man. But here comes yeah. zealots. Two spines on the way. And the lings are just going to leave. They're going to come home to defend. Yeah, they're all just going to come home. Spines are in a pretty good spot. Yeah. Drones being pulled. More lings coming out. More lings out. Yeah. And um, Meek is now broke. He has 60 minerals. I, he can't afford think, another zealot. I think this is looking pretty conclusive. Yeah, he can make one probe at home or he can send this probe back to start mining. Zealot's coming up the ramp. Oh, kind of an awkward time for the spine crawler to be rooting. Yeah. There's the second one is there. Really yeah, the and there's the GG. That's a, that's a quick one, GG. As easy as that. Finally, on the board. <laughs> Chat says using non-clan members. Um, third base is far but also farther away from your opponent all right spawning in on the side of industry plan for under the tag of rng pro is going to be our red zerg scrubbles and at the 12 o'clock position the purity side playing for team extra one it's our blue terran mac pick nine Three okay. SCVs coming across the map. Oh boy. This has got to be Proxy's Rerax Reaper, right? It has to be, right? Oh, he's just sending it straight over, too. Well. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, he's telling him. Yeah, he told him he was Saren. Yeah. He's got the manners. Yeah, Scribbles doesn't believe him. <laughs> uh, it's too good. <laughs> I almost feel like we should step in and tell him, yes, he's really there. <laughs> See, we, I was talking in Discord today about bans during tournaments. This is what I want. This is awesome. Yep. No toxicity, no just some bans. Yeah. <laughs> Lings are out. Oh, this was a uh, pool first opening. And the Lings are just going right over to his base. Oh, man. A fourth Rack's queued up. Marines. Interesting. Oh, yeah, no gas at all. But there's no wall at all, and the Overlord sees this. This is going to be just like um, Meek's game, where he finally yeah. lost. Yeah, it really is. Except SUVs can repair each other, they have more health, and. Marines are deadly and scary, man. Yes. Oh, and bunkers. So all the SCVs are going to die. Right. And he never even made an orbital, so he can't just get back into his... Oh, he's going to the island! Oh, that's the big play. The bunker gets cancelled, though. Would have been uh, uh, probably worth throwing a couple of those NV uh, SCVs into the, into the CC. Oh, yeah. Because you can put that oh. CC over there, but you got no minerals, man. You can't make any. Yeah, he's totally broke. He needs to cancel this Marine right now. If he's going to macro at all. Nope. Doesn't matter where this command center goes. It's just the last building to kill. 
Yeah, that's GG. Yeah, <laughs> you can't put, GG. put out a bunker There's anywhere. Nothing else you can do. Wow. These games. They're going quick, man. So it's now 4-2. Yep, that's correct. 4-2. Team extra one in. Hey, Scrubbles is uh, Scrubbles is really strong. All right, so spawning in in the top right hand corner, playing for extra one is going to be our pink zerg, gold fashion. And in the bottom left, we have the blue Zerg playing for team Risen RNG Pro. It is Scrubbles. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but Scrubbles made a drone, canceled it, and threw down the pool. Wow, old fashioned is also. Oh, okay, wait, what is this build? Is he doing the 15 hatch all in? 15, 14, 13? Well, no, because he's making a drone. But this is a really early hatch. Old Fashion is canceling a gas to a overpool, but there's no pool yet. Very interesting opener. Yeah, pool finishes for Scrubbles. He does have all the larvae he needs, despite canceling that one, which is good. Pool finally started for Old Fashion. Oh, it looks like Scrubble's just going to take a hatch. So if he runs these links over and just kills Old Fashioned's Expo, then he's way ahead. Oh, big time. A second extractor trick from Old Fashioned. More links being produced by Scrubbles as they the existing ones head across the map. This pool isn't even done. Yeah, this all-in build can be really strong if your opponent doesn't scout it in time. But that's not going to matter right now. One link going, goes up into the main to scout. Sees the pool, sees the gas. Yeah, he's just going to focus down that natural hatch. Yeah, I think he's going to get it too. These things are going to pop though, it's going to complicate it a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Ooh, catches the one. The oh, drones no. are pulled. This is a, uh, a good fight for Scrubbles. Seven. So he loses all the lings, but I mean, that's dropped him down to eight drones. That is not the position you want to be in, in a ZVZ. Yeah, and old fashioned now, 164 gas and no speed. He's just trying to cross the map with these lings. What else can you do? Scrubbles up to 19, 23 drones now. Uh, he has no lings though. He needs to respect these lings. Units, yeah. yeah, these will surround and kill his qu Oh, he has two queens. Okay, he's making a spy and he's making some lings now. But yeah, you gotta take this series. Oh, okay. Well, third queen could even help. Yeah, oh, three queens, doesn't even need to. Nothing. Is he even going to get this one queen? No. Wow. Six more lanes coming across the map, but they're spread out. I don't think they can get anything I done. Think if... that, I think that might represent a GG right there. Yeah. Now oh, link speed finally started. Pulled out of gas for old fashioned. Roachhorn, Evo Chamber, wall off for Scrubbles, spine finishes. But the two queens just chilling in the entrance for now. Spine's gonna be moved to out. Spamming out more units. Yeah, he's just gonna continue on with the all-in. Hit again, but it's too late now. The wall is complete. There's a spine behind it. This roach warren is about to finish. Yeah, and this is one way that you shut down this build, regardless of what happened earlier. That if um, if Old Fashioned was able to execute this and have his build be uninterrupted and not scouted, if you just wall off like this. You can send you unlimited <laughs> lings into that, man. You can send unlimited lings into that, and they're not going to get much done. Yeah. You better have a 3-3 three, three and adrenal, man. 
Yeah, the surface area isn't good, but with how many drones Scrubbles has, he could even just make a second wall behind it or keep making spines. Yeah. Uh, Queen in the middle of the map, by the way. <laughs> Shooting this Overlord, not going to get it. Layer star for Scrubbles. He knows he's way ahead. Oh, yeah. He even has a couple of roaches. Now he's ahead on the army as well. He's 22 to 16. Well, Tashin has an overlord right now, even though he's got six supply. He's got more larva than he can actually make units with. <laughs> his Scrubble's so confident in his army yeah. and his defense now that he's killing his own Evo Chamber. Ready to. Go and tell the Zerg what's up. Get some damage down with those broodlings. Yeah, chasing the army away. All right, old fashioned, this is your chance. That might be a little bit of an overextension. Oh, Yo, he's gonna take spawns. a third. Yeah, what a boss. Oh, the lings are going to come back. He's splitting up his roaches. I don't like how they're not clumped up, too. These lings could run right through and get in between. Oh, and yeah. Get a really good surface area. Oh, but they're not going to do that. They're just going to run around. Overseer flying through old fashioned. I don't know about you, but <laughs> when you're in this kind of situation, you see an overlord fly over, and you're like, shit, I'm on a little over one base saturation. I have no yeah. layer. And there's an overseer seeing the sad state of my base right now. Yeah, that can't there's feel nothing. good. Yeah, there's nothing more demotivating. One attack about to finish along with Roach speed. More Roaches on the way. I think he's going to hit with this and he's going to hit hard and that's going to be the end of the game. Yeah, old fashioned just now making drones. Yeah, because the best thing he could do is run these links in and tr trade with the Roaches. That's not going to get you anywhere. Goes straight across the map. With 26 roaches, one attack and speed. Right. And this third base is probably going to fall. Yeah, these roaches are not coming back. Just the queens and a few new roaches sent to defend. Transfuse goes down, but he's just focusing the hatch down. Yep. Wow, some lings stayed and died to the broodlings. Yeah, these panic spines are a bit too late but even if they were up they would not no kill matter. yeah really that no many matter. roaches so gg is called and the score is team no. extra one in the lead now we're back into the masters bracket aren't we Meek, I'll get you one after this game, all right, buddy? Do I smoke too much while I cast? I'll forget to talk. All right, we got here. In the top left-hand corner of Nightshade Ali, the purple Zerg, representing Extra, we got... T -t 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 and in the bottom right, Playing for Team RNG Pro and Risen. It's the Yellow Zerg, Scrubbles. And Scrubbles throwing down the pool first, sticking to the meta. While um, Tim has actually droned up. And he continues to drone. A hatch first, the absolute lad. Is that. Is that a standard opener? Could it the be? The ball's on this guy. That's clearly standard is non-standard in this in this event, so 
We'll have to see how that's going to go for him. It's pretty much uncharted waters thus far. Pool goes down for Timmy. Ling's Will it be way. in time to defend this? Yeah. Um, I think he's going to be was, okay. Was you might have to pull some drones. Good. Yeah, you might have to pull some drones so that the hatch doesn't die, but this is usually a good position to be in if you're Timmy. I would say so. But also Scrubble's not going fully all in. He does have a hatch coming up of his... This uh, Overlord of Timmy, it sees the links, or it saw one of them, if he was looking closely. Oh, well, the other one definitely oh, saw. But he makes okay, yeah. Oh, no, he didn't see until... Yeah. Dude, he's going to be larva blocked for links here. Two links. Another pair of links. Two queens started. Drones being pulled. Now this is the tricky part. He just hit 100 is, gas. He's oh, he's pulling out a gas. He's gonna lose it. Yeah. That's oh yeah. Hatch. Yep. Oh, that is not good. And he just runs away. See you later. Yeah. And man, that's just salt in the wound when you pull drones for that too, and it dies anyway. Oh. Oh, and his overlord is getting hit by Scrubble's queen with another overlord following. He might just follow it out there and kill it. Oh. This queen supply block. injecting. I'm supply block quickly though. He loses all the lings though. Yeah. So right I think now Timmy has to try to counterattack here, right? Yeah, Timmy has one more drone, but one less base. So Scrubbles immediately throws down a uh, spine. Oh yeah, and the queen killed the overlord. So now Timmy is supply blocked as he throws down another hatch. That's gonna put a pretty big damper on this return attack. Oh, the spine repositioning. This always makes me nervous. It's going to be fine, though. Oh, more drones being pulled to wall off. Oh, this wall off is perfectly timed. Wow. There's not a gap between these two EVOs, right? No, that's that's a tight wall. Nope. Oh, uh, Scrubble's Overlord is taking some damage, but it's going to get away. No problem. Oh, Speedlings coming in. Hold position, Lings. Another queen moving up in position. That was a nicely done. Beautiful wall off by Scrubbles. He even cancels the Evo and makes a Roach Warren. As Tim and Marfson Baines just outside his base. Thanks for the Scrubbles. Up, I had you guys on the uh, on the bottom of the hut up until now. Scrubbles has seven more drones right now, so this has to do damage. But these Baines are not going to help you get through Queens, my man. Oof, that is painful. Queen yeah. Really lives. <laughs> GG. GG. Wow. Yeah, there's the GG. Little anticlimactic ending, but yeah. Uh, I think I think we all knew where that was going. Well, we thought that Tim's hatch was gonna survive. That was. We thought, oh yeah, he'll pull some drones. It'll be you know maybe a little. All right, another ZVZ. All right, so spawning in in the top right-hand corner is our uh, defending streaker right now, playing under the tag RNG Pro. We got Scrubbles. And in the bottom right, the pink Zerg, playing for Team Extra One. It's Oracle Boy. And we got a 12 out of Scrubbles again. While wow, Oracle Boy just um, did an extractor trick up to 15. You see that pool go down fast again. Oh boy, he's going for the... F he's he's doing the 15 hatch all-in build again. Did he see the game earlier? Because this already happened. We had Scrolls do a 12 pool against yep. a Zerg that did a 15 hatch bank up lings. Didn't work out too well last time, but uh, maybe it can be a little cleaner this time around. We'll see. All right. Pool start for Oracle Boy. <coughs> Scrubble is just doing the macro. Six links. He's going to make a hatch now. 
They're even on drones, except one player has six lings on the field, while the other player has a pool that's half done. Now he's got one more drone. He is saving larva though. Yeah, his pool will be done in time. Yeah, he'll have these um these six lings to defend. Honey pulls out properly, starts ling speed. Yeah. This is good. The hatch finishes so it doesn't take extra damage from being unarmored, which is always nice. And the lings begin their attack. While one goes up to scout, gets a little bit of a drone pull. Lost mining time. Out come the eight lings and eight more on the way. Yeah, while well, the spine goes down for scrubbles at home. Because also he knows that when your this opponent has this many links to defend this, yeah, it, this isn't a whole hatch first. They should be trickling out a couple links. Oh, he cancels yeah. larva. What was that? A drone? I missed it. I think it was a drone, yeah. Scrubble's throwing down two spines, by the way. He's a little afraid of this because he's totally gasless. As he should be, that's a lot of links on the way. Yeah. That's 13 Spine on the way and 6 down. more in, in morph. But with Ooh, 2 queens sp and 2 sprines, this is definitely very holdable. Yeah. Yep. And both and... players are still even on drones, so... Honestly, a pretty pretty close game so far. Yeah, and Oracle Boy chose not to attack into that before the spine rooted, which was a good call, because he had 2 queens there. Yeah. All these things are just going to run all the way home, and Scrubble sees it, so he knows. He has map control now. He can just drone. Oh, he canceled the second spine too. Didn't feel like he needed it anymore. Very good. Oh, but now these things are coming beautiful. out again. Run Scrubble's Overlord. Behind this, put himself up on 21 drones. Yeah. You think he's gonna chase this Overlord all the way out to its death? I think that's a mistake if he does. Yeah, I think he needs the larva. Especially when you're this all in. 16 more links coming. This is very all in. Yeah, he has money too, so he actually does need the injects and the larva right now. Oh, he's supply blocked right now. Oh, There's but the same wall off. No Bane's Nest though. Yeah. Two gas finally going up for Scrubbles. And he's got this wall with a Roach Warren. Yeah, here come all the links. Uh oh. Oh, are the Queens going to be out of position? He sees the links. Oh no. Oh no. That's so rough. Oh no, he can't even block off the wall! Oh! And the lings are in. And yeah, oh, he does get a info down. Oh no! Oh, the queen's not even in the little pocket. Oh man. This is everything that could possibly go wrong. Yeah, that's gonna be almost oh, every that's, drone. That's game. Wow! Wow! 24 drones went down. That's it. And I was talking about how this game was going to be so easy for him because we saw him hold it earlier. Yeah. One little slip up though. Those queens stepped out to hit the overlord and they were out of position for that couple of seconds. And that's all it takes. Yep.